Ayan. So, good evening po sa lahat. Kamusta po kayo? Narinig ba ko at Alice? Kasi mabagal yung internet namin eh. Okay. So, ano, before we start po, last time, nung la first Wednesday po, no, sobrang na-bless ako dun sa introduction ni Ate Alex. <laughs> introduction pa lang na-bless ako. Sabi niya doon, um, uh, this is it na talaga. Wala na talagang atrasan to. And tonight po, yes po, this is it po talaga kasi ang pag-uusapan po natin is about, nakikita po ba yung slide, Alice? Nakikita yung slide eh. Okay. Uh, so, ang pag-uusapan po natin tonight is ay entitled, um, The Day is Approaching. Be Watchful. So, etong term po na approaching na to is lagi namin ginagamit to sa mga year 6 students. No? Kasi papalapit na yung exam nila, lagi namin sinasabi na you have to revise, you have to, to go through to your past year papers, uh, kailangan mag-make time kayo ng... Uh, kailangan uh, gumawa kayo ng study time nyo. You have to prioritize your uh, revising your books. Lagi namin silang pinapaalalahanan. And same goes po no, sa atin mga mga Kristiyano. No? Kasi yung, yung, yung araw po na inaantay natin, which is ang pagbabalik ni Jesus, ay malapit na malapit na po no? with all these things na nangyayari sa paligid natin. Um, nakikita na natin yung mga signs na sinasabi niya. So our verse po is in Matthew 24:36. Kung mababasa niyo po yung Matthew 24 no. Um dun sa Mount Olives po, tinanong siya ng mga disciples, sabi ng mga disciples sa kanya, sabihin mo sa amin kung kailan ka babalik, anong araw, anong oras. Tapos may mga sinabi siya doon na Signs of end times, great tribulations, tapos may mga sinabi siyang parable. Pero ang sagot niya sa tanong ng mga disciple is, yan, this verse po in Matthew 24, 36, sabi niya, But about that day or hour, no one knows that even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. So for us to fully understand this one po, no? uh, pag-aaralan po natin ngayon is yung parable niya sa uh, Matthew Matthew 25, which is the parable po of the ten virgins. So alam ko po, familiar na familiar na to sa atin. But tonight po, pag-aaralan natin to. And before we go there, um, ano nga po ba yung parable o sa Tagalog, parabola or talinghaga? So according to Google, according to my research, it's a simple story with a heavenly meaning. It means po, you are giving an earthly stories with the heavenly meaning. So it's from a Greek word called parabalo, which means alongside. Para means alongside and balo, balo is to throw. So ibig sabihin po, lagi nagsasabi si, dyan sa tabi, so lagi nagsasabi si, si Jesus ng mga, ng mga stories na related sa mga taong nakatira doon. So this, in this parable po, no, um, nirelate niya itong parable na to sa culture wedding ng mga Jewish. Kung pag-aaralan niyo po yung 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 Jewish wedding, yung bridegroom o yung groom, pupunta siya sa bahay ng pupunta po siya sa bahay ng ng bride sa gabi. And then may mga may mga may mga kadalagahan o sa ibang terms nga eh, ng Bible, bridesmaid na nahaabang sa kanya. So ang trabaho nila is antayin yung groom and then iaaccompany nila ngayon papasok sa papasok sa bahay ng sa bahay ng pagdadausan ng kasal. So, next one po is before we proceed there, why did Jesus spoke in parables? Bakit na ba? Kung mapansin niyo nung nag-research po ako, ang dami-dami-dami pa lang parables na na minention ni, ni Jesus and sabi sa Matthew 13:10, tinanong ulit siya ng mga disciples doon eh, why do you speak to the crowds in parables? And ang sagot po niya is sa Matthew 11, because the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of heaven has given to you, but not to them. So, ibig sabihin po, no, in understanding parable, we need the revelation of uh, from the Lord. And sabi niya sa 12, whoever has will be given more, and they will have an abundance. Whoever does not have even what they have, 
will be taken from them. So if we are humble enough po to know the truth, no, we will, the more truth we will learn. Kaya nga yung mga pagmayabang na pag, pag mga boastful na tao, no, hindi sila natututo kasi feeling nila, alam na nila lahat. So, in, in learning po, in studying the word of God, no, po, we really need to be humble. And next one po, is gusto, gusto ko to sa Tagalog. Sa Matthew 13, sabi niya doon, Kaya't sila'y pinagsasalitaan ko sa talinghaga sapagkat nagsisipingin ay hindi sila nakakakita at nakakakinig ay hindi sila nakakarinig ni hindi sila nakakaunawa. So for us to understand the word of God po, we need to have the right heart. So let's pray po and ask guidance from the Lord na magkaroon po tayo ng tamang puso sa pakikinig ng kanyang salita. Yes, Lord, hallelujah, Lord, hallelujah, Jesus. Um, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this night. Maraming maraming salamat o Diyos sa opportunity, Panginoon, na makapag-share po muling ng inyong salita. I pray, Father Lord, na itago mo nga po ako sa inyong likuran, Panginoon, at ang salita mo lamang at ang pangalan mo lamang ang maipahayag ngayon. And tonight, I pray, Lord, na give us a teachable hearts, Panginoon. And I pray, Lord, na ano man ma salita maririnig namin, Panginoon, hindi lamang po namin marinig, kundi ma-i-apply din po namin sa pang-araw-araw na buhay namin habang inaantay ka namin dito sa mundo. And we just want also to pray for good internet connection tonight. In this we pray, Jesus name. Amen. So, um, we know po na yun sa title, I'm referring to the second coming of Jesus. So, in this parable, we can learn five things. So, but before that, ano, kasi dapat ipa-play ko to kaya lang mahina ang internet. So, I will just read it. Sabi niya dito, Then the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. For when the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them. But the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, they all become drowsy and slept. But at midnight, there was a cry. Here is the bridegroom. Come out to meet him. Then all those virgins rose and trimmed their lamps. Eight, and the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our oil lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, Since there will be will not be enough for us and for you, go rather to the dealers and buy for yourselves. And while they were going to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast, and the door was shut. Afterwards, the, virgin, the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered, Truly I say to you, I do not know you. And the last point is a warning. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know the day or the hour. So in this parable, po, I, I have here, we can acquire or we can learn five things. The, per, the first one po is preparation of the church. So while waiting po, no, while waiting for the Lord, mahalaga po yung preparation na gagawin natin. Kaya nga po, we, we keep on listening, we keep on meditating the word of God kasi we're preparing para pag dumating siya, ready tayo. So kung makikita natin dito, no, so one, that the kingdom of heaven will be like 10 virgins. Ano nga ba yung mga 10 virgins na tinutukoy niya dyan? Who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. For when the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them. But the oil, the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. So makikita natin no, in sa first verse, parang yung mga... 10 virgins are reading ready na sila na um reading ready na sila sa pag-aabang kasi dinadala-dala nila yung lamps and then pumunta na sila inaantay na nila yung bridegroom. So before we proceed po, I want to emphasize lang some of the meanings there. So the 10 virgins po na sinatukoy diyan ni Jesus is um the members of church. So tayo po yun, lahat po tayo na nakakilala sa Panginoon, tayo po yung 10 virgins sa sinasabi niya. And the lamps po is representing the word of God. So kaya nga sabi doon, di ba, sa Psalms, uh, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light uh, to my path. 
So the next one po is bridegroom represents Jesus. So we are the church. We are the members of the church. We are all, uh, we know the word of God and we are all waiting for our bridegroom, Jesus. So yun po yung role natin is um, antayin ang Panginoon. So kung makikita natin no, sa pangalawa, klinasify agad ni Jesus. Sabi niya, hindi lahat ng ten virgins na nagaantay sa akin ay wise. So sabi niya, some of them are foolish, some are wise. Kasi yung mga foolish, they took no oil with them. And the oil po represents our faith. So hindi lang po sapat na daladala natin ang salita ng Panginoon. Dapat po, uh, may pananampalataya din tayo. Amen? So kaya sila dinistinguish na na foolish and wise. Kasi may marami sa atin na alam lang natin yung salita ng Panginoon pero hindi talaga tayo, hindi talaga natin uh, sinasabuhay yon or hindi talaga uh, nakikita sa atin. So sa pangalawa po is, so one po is preparation of the church. The next one po is the attitude while waiting. So mahalaga po yung attitude natin while waiting for the Lord. So kasi dito tayo pinaprocess ng Panginoon. Sabi nga niya dito sa next verse, As the bridegroom was delayed, they all become drowsy and slept. So kung naka, I highlighted this um, delayed word kasi kung mapapansin natin, kung babalikan po natin yung key verse natin, sabi nga niya doon, no specific time eh. No one knows, not even the angels in heaven. So wala po talaga nakakaalam. So pwede yung bridegroom, pwede siyang ma-delayed. Kagaya po nung nangyari sa mga um, na-delay yung pagdating ng bridegroom. And ganun din po sa atin. No? Pero kung isipin natin, no, uh, yung delayed na to is it shows kung, kung gaano halawak yung, yung grace ng Panginoon. Kasi nga, di ba parang pag nag-aantay tayo, parang isa yun sa pinakamahirap na process. Eh. Kasi inisip ko nga, bakit nga ba hindi na lang dumating si Jesus? Pero kasi ganun niya talaga tayo kamahal. Sabi nga sa 2 Peter, The Lord isn't really being slow about His promise, as some people think. No, He is being patient for your sake. He does not want anyone to be destroyed, but wants everyone to repent. So, ayan. So, kaya siguro hanggang ngayon, no, nung sinulat to, ang tagal, ang tagal-tagal na ng panahon, pero hanggang ngayon, wala pa si Jesus. Because He is giving us yung chance na makapag-repent. Kasi hindi lahat, kasi kung na-mention natin, no, hindi lahat ng, ng may hawak-hawak ng kanyang salita is, uh, is wise. Di ba? Some of them are foolish. Hawak-hawak lang nila, pero hindi talaga nila isinasa buhay. So, God really wants giving us the chance para uh, mag-repent. Amen? And, di ba parang grateful nga tayo na hanggang ngayon wala pa si Lord. Siguro ako nga personally parang grateful din ako na hanggang ngayon wala pa kasi parang kailang ko lang naman tinanggap si si Lord and no, nung ginagawa ko yung message na to parang um, naging revelation sa akin ni Lord, hindi talaga ako wise. Kasi yung character characteristic ng wise is sobrang pre prepared talaga sila. And parang may nawala akong slide. Okay, wala. Uh, next po is, yan, while we are waiting, ano nga ba ang ginagawa natin habang nag-aantay? Isa po kasi yan sa magbibuild ng character natin while waiting for the Lord. Sabi nga niya sa sa Romans 12:2 do not con do not conform to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind sabi niya dito be transformed by the renewing of your mind then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is his good pleasing per and perfect will so makikita natin dito no ni remind tayo ni Lord na as we wait for the Lord let's be transformed kasi nga, the moment, sabi nga ni Kuya Jet nung last Sunday, you know, the moment we accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we don't own our life anymore. Hindi, hindi na tungkol sa atin to. Kasi nga ba, nirebuke din ako last Sunday kasi I keep on asking the Lord na uh, magkakaroon pa ba ka ng breakthrough? Kasi parang dito sa Brunei, 
parang yung cycle ng life ko. Uh, work, bahay, work, bahay. So parang, alam mo yun, parang walang thrill. But uh, last Sunday po, nireview ako na your life is not about what you want. Your life is not about your dreams. Your life is not about um, makamit mo yung mga gusto mo sa mundo. Your life is about serving the Lord. Amen? Kasi yung pinag-uusapan natin is eternity na yun. Eh. Kung baga, nag invest tayo sa, sa eternity. And yung mga ini-invest natin karamihan dito is, di ba, pag nawala na tayo dito, iiwanan na natin. So, and nowadays din po is, we are more on social media. So, ang tanong ko kanina is, anong ginagawa natin habang nag-aantay? So, uh, challenge din po sa akin ng Panginoon. So, I want also to challenge you mga kapatid na check our Facebook, our IG, our TikTok, our Twitter, YouTube, and you ask yourself, first thing po, eh, kasi nasa process tayo, eh, first thing po is, who are the people that we follow? Mahalaga po kasi yan sa preparation natin. Who are the people that we follow? Are they helpful in our spiritual growth? Nakakatulong po ba yung mga taong pinafollow natin? sa sa paglago natin sa pananampalataya. So if not po, that the answer is have to unfollow them. Ganun po talaga. Uh, once we accepted this kind of life, this um once we accepted Jesus, uh, there are things na kailangan na nating iwanan for us to grow. Kasi kung hindi magiging cycle natin is sabi niya ni Kuya Kim, 'di ba? Yung yung when when he accepted Jesus Christ, naging 180 degree daw yung life niya. Ibig sabihin, yung life niya before is very different kung ano yung kinabubuhay niya now. So, most on, mostly sa atin po kasi is parang 360. Parang uh, binago ka na ng Panginoon, tapos bumalik ka na naman, tapos binago ka na naman, tapos bumalik ka na naman. So, the one thing po is, dito sa process natin, matcha-check yung sarili natin. Kasi, those people that we are following, those influencer po, makaka-apekto po, po talaga sila. And the first thing po is every time, maging tayo no, mag, bilang isang Kristiyano, every time we post something, we have to, to think of this po. Does it glorify the Lord? Napapapurihan ba natin ang, ang Panginoon every time we post something? Kasi nga, tayo yung dapat nagiging ilaw eh, di ba? So the question is, every time you dance, does it glorify the Lord? Every time you sing, does it glorify the Lord? Every time you share something, does it glorify the Lord? Or uh, you just want to, to boast or you just want to, to show off yourself? So we have to think of that one also, no? Bilang isang Kristiyano, mahalaga po yun sa... sa sa prosesong ginagawa natin while we are waiting for the Lord. And next po is Matthew 5, 6, and sabi dito, in same way, let your shine, let, let your light shine before others that they, will, they may see your good deeds, your good deeds, and glorify your Father in heaven. So, we really need to do work po, no? We really need to do work that um, we really need to do work po that bears fruit for the Lord. So, uh, tanongin natin sarili natin, no? Does your light, does my light shine everywhere I go? Nagsishine po ba yun? Yung, 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 yung ilaw natin sa mga taong nakapaligid sa atin, sa mga taong nakikita natin. And Um, bakit ko po sinabi yun? Kasi based also on my experience, no, last year po, um, may pinafollow akong couple. Kung nakatandaan nyo yung LGBTQ couple na uh, Team Tara. So inabangan ko sila for almost one year, I think, last year. So inabangan ko kung kailan nag-start yung love story nila, how did they met, parang uh, yung past life nila. And you know po, dahil lagi ko silang pinapanood, lagi ko silang pinapakingga, lagi ko silang nakikita. Um, there is something po in my mind, no? Habang pinapanood ko sila at habang nakikita ko sila. Uh, parang alam mo yung salita ng Panginoon is different, right? Kasi ang sabi ng Panginoon is that's not acceptable. Pero in my mind is, 
uh, siguro nga judgmental lang yung mga Kristiyano. So dumating na ako sa ganung point ng ng mindset ko na God really create and created them to be like that. Kasi kung hindi sila mamumuhay ng ganon, kung hindi nila i-follow yung heart nila, magsasuffer sila eh habang nandito sila. So sino ba naman sa atin ang gusto mag-suffer? But we have to stick po bilang Kristiyano, no? we have to stick on the word of God. No? Yun po yung parang naging conviction sa akin ni Lord na no, you're changing your mindset because you keep on watching them. I think you really need to unfollow them. So I really need to unfollow them for me to to change my mindset as well. So, ganun din po sa atin because the true state of readiness will only reveal when the bridegroom finally arrives. So, marireveal lang po yan. No? I'm not saying this to judge anyone po sa atin. No? We don't have the right to judge po yung mga kapatiran natin. But isang paalala lamang po mula sa Panginoon because the true state of readiness will only come when the bridegroom finally arrives. And pag dumating siya, I think it's too late now for, for us to repent, right? So the fourth one po is, yan. Jesus reveals true and fake Christians. So after po nung process, no, after na nung pinaalalahanan tayo and then dumaan tayo sa proseso, pag dumating po yung Panginoon, darating at darating po, kahit gaano po siya katagal, darating at darating pa rin yung time na uh, pupunta di siya dito and i-reveal niya kung sino yung mga uh, true and fake Christians. And sabi nga niya dito, But at midnight, there was a cry. Here is the bridegroom. Um, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins wrote, rose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, since there will be not enough for us and for you, go rather to the dealers and buy for yourselves. So ma'am, sasabi ba natin dito na yung mga wise is uh, madadamot kasi hindi na sinare yung, yung oil nila? And kung babalikan niyo po yung sinabi ko kanina, oil refer, refers to our faith. So ayan, hindi ko pala nasama. So the first one po that we can learn from this is True followers of Christ are always ready. Lagi po nating dalhin yung salita ng Panginoon together with our faith. Amen. Dapat po uh, bas basbas tayo ng ng Holy Spirit always. And our faith cannot be borrowed. It's not something na pwede mong i-share sa friends mo. It's not something that you can share to your family. Kaya nga It's an kailangan i-share pa natin ng i-share sa sa mga sa mga friends and families natin na hindi nakakakilala kasi during that day it's just between you and the Lord. Amen. So um kahit gaano natin sila kamahal, hindi natin sila madadala if they really refuse the the word of God. Ganun po talaga 'yun. We cannot share salvation with others. We need or they need to encounter Jesus themselves. Kailangan po may, magkaroon sila ng personal relationship sa Panginoon. Hindi po natin, we can share the word. We can share the word of God. Pero yung relationship po, um, for us to, para, mag, para magkaroon ng salvation, magkaroon tayo ng totoong relasyon sa Panginoon. Amen. And the next po is, after he revealed, Jesus, ay, doble yun. Ano pala yan? Yan. So, number four po is, He will come for those who are ready. Sabi niya dito, And while they were going to buy, the bridegroom came and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast. And the door was shut. Kung nakita natin dito, and emphasize talaga ni Jesus, no, the door was shut. So, um, Yan. Kung mabasa natin sa Hebrews 9, 28. So also Christ was offered once for all time a sacrifice to take away the sins of many people. He will come again not to deal with our sins but to bring salvation to all to all who are eagerly waiting for Him. So pagbabalik pa ng Panginoon, di ba dumating na siya? So nasave na tayo sa, sa, sa lahat ng kasalanan nung dumating siya. So babalik ulit siya not to not to take away our sins but to 
to to bring those who are eagerly waiting and the question nga po is are we really eagerly waiting for the lord now you have to ask yourself po yeah number four number five po is he will reject those who are not ready so sabi niya dito, afterwards, the other virgins came also saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered, truly I say to you, I do not know you. Kaya nga nabigyan siya ng warning that we have to be ready. Sabi niya sa Matthew 21, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Amen. So, in this po is, for my conclusion, Jesus gave the warning in Matthew 25, the last, po, last part, part ng kanyang parable, and sabi niya dito, Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know the day or the hour. So sa atin, no, kung hindi tayo vigilant, kung hindi tayo laging ready, paano kapag mamaya dumating siya? Paano kapag um, bukas ng madaling araw dumating siya and you're not ready? So we have to be always ready po. Amen. So my application po is, uh, my challenge po for everyone is, yes, it's time po to ask ourselves, assess ourselves, are we true followers of Jesus? Kasi ang totoo daw po na, uh, na follower ng Jesus are always ready and uh, patuloy na binabago at patuloy na nagpapabago at hindi po pabago-bago. Amen. So we have to assess ourselves as well. Next po is, are we ready to make an eternal decision? Kasi yung, yung decision po na gagawin natin is for eternal. Amen? Yung decision po na pwede mong gawin ngayon is, may, pwede mo siyang i-enjoy. Kaya nga nung ginagawa ko to is, no, uh, simple sacrifice pa lang ngayon is may enjoy mo yung eternity with the Lord. All you have to do is, Wala. You have to say no to the world. Kasi dito sa mundo, they will really reveal things na somehow will give us temporary happiness. But if we are wise or if we are true followers of Jesus, we really need to, to decide now. Hindi bukas, dapat ngayon. We have to decide ano ba yung, uh, yung gusto ko. Is it for temporary or eternal? Kasi mahalaga po yun. And the last po is... Uh, Habang ginagawa ko tong message, no, di ba mahal naman tayo ng Panginoon? Di ba mahal na mahal naman tayo ng Panginoon? Bakit kaya hindi niya sinabi na lang, di ba? Bakit hindi na lang kaya niya sinabi na uh, yung oras para makapaghanda tayo? Bakit kaya hindi na lang niya sinabi yung specific na time or specific man na month para makapag-prepare tayo specific na year? Kasi mahal naman tayo ng Panginoon. Kasi ginawa naman niya yung heaven is for us. Yung langit po talaga is intended for us. But this is the message po to end this. God wants us to live our life. Our life. So mga kapatid, this parable po is reminding us that we really need to, to be always ready and to live our life as if it's coming at any moment. So let's end this po in prayer. Are we all blessed? Ang bilis ko ba? So let's pray po. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this night. Maraming maraming salamat, O Diyos, sa um, salita po sa bawat isa ngayong gabi. And I pray, Lord, na um, you open our hearts. Bigyan mo po kami ng tamang puso, Panginoon, na sa ganun po ay ipamuhay po namin ang inyong mga salita, Panginoon. And you give us the courage, Panginoon, to share this to our families and loved ones. Just want to entrust, O oh God, the rest of the nights and the rest po ng gawain into your hands. In this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen po. Yun lamang po and God bless po everyone.